All right, so we are back on this fine machine, 3039R. That is our new ECU there. And it is not, as you can see, the donor. And here's our old guy here. So, brief follow-up story on this. Uh, I was out at a couple of our other dealer locations working on some other problem children. So when this came in, it was uh, installed initialized and all that by one of our other techs at which point I got a call and was told the problem was still there so uh, let me switch it back over here still inhibited still inhibited so needless to say I was a bit concerned but that's when it got interesting because, you know, I'm thinking I made a bad call here, despite the fact that we had all sorts of intermittent communication errors with this ECU here. There was no wiring harness problems, nothing else bringing down the network, so we were pretty confident it was that ECU. But then this came back. So I ended up opening up a uh, support ticket with the factory, and there were a couple things we did. Just because they were on board with me, everything pointed to the ECU. Um, we initialized the new ECU, which I'm just going to run you guys through that real quick. Initializing the new ECU is you plug it in, and afterwards we go to our ECU and calibrations. We set our engine hour meter, and then in interactive calibrations, we check our injector calibration numbers, and we check our serial numbers for the DOC and the DPF. So anyway... We're running into these issues. We can't figure out why this won't work. So I go and I take the donor ECU and I plug it right back in in place of this. And magically, just like you guys saw in the previous video, these went on inhibited. So I'm going back and forth with the factory explaining everything. So they had me go through, and I'll show you guys this. This is actually kind of a cool test. Remember I was talking about CAN message decoding. Well, built right in the service advisor under tools, when you're in your diagnostics tab, under tools here, we have what's called CAN trace. So we have our EDL V1, V2, which is what we're using. Now, implement would be if we were running a larger ag tractor with a baler or something else that had its own CAN network. Vehicle CAN2 is everything we have powertrain can three that's a whole nother ball game but we can actually what we can actually do is we can either use an initialization file which would come from the factory you would load that and whenever this machine hits certain parameters it starts recording the can trace and then stops at a certain point so they can analyze very specific data points in this case all we did and I'll just give you guys an example. We go down here, we hit start, and you'll see the recording duration, and then there we go. We got all our data here. We'll do about, that's good. And when that stops, spin, 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 has been saved. Would you like to download the file? Yes, I would. So we can go down here. And then uh, focus. Sorry, guys. There we are. And it literally, like we were talking about before, logs all the CAN data within that period. I mean, that's 10 seconds worth, and you can see we got, just from the size of the scroll bar, we got a lot of data there. So anyway, I did one of these recordings. I sent it to the factory. They analyzed it. They could actually see, because I went through and I made sure I was pressing my inhibit and on inhibit button, as well as forcing it in, and no changes. Yet they could see within our CAN data that it was changing. So what it ended up being was this tractor is, uh, this one here, is a 2014. 
All right, sorry about that. We had a guy from a, another dealer show up. I needed to give him a hand. So where were we? Uh, oh, yeah. 2014 model year. Now, I've been working for Deer for five years now. Never run into this before. Apparently, the factory says 2014, despite the fact that the this here pad, if it would focus, this here pad communicates with can lines to this ICC. ICC communicates with can lines down to here. So all this data is being transferred back and forth and through their can decoding, they were able to see me switching this. Knew the message was getting to the ECU, yada, yada, yada. For whatever reason, service advisor, that guy down there on this software here, is not supported in 2014 model year. These are essentially invalid data pids. They never change. Never change. No documentation, no anything. So, we, to a certain degree, I hung my diagnosis of this ECU, one, on the communication faults we were having, because there were multiple times, as we saw in the other videos, where this module wasn't sending the data it was supposed to up to our instrument cluster here, which is essentially a gateway. And then swapping the old one with a known good for a new model, this all changed. Well, that was the variable. From 20, late 2015, supposedly on, these become valid data pids. So, yeah, that was a interesting little bit of information to find out unfortunately i did not get to take you guys through initializing a brand new ecu there will be more of those to come but um this tractor is fixed I, i've had it running a couple times now no more communication faults so this wasn't a bad call it was just a good call made off of questionable assumptions at this point once again, being the data pids that were our secondary, you know, back up to the communication faults, are not valid data pids on this. So that was, uh, yeah, that was pretty interesting. So I just figured uh, you guys would like the, the follow-up to it. Uh, as you can see here, no code stored, none of that nonsense. So, I mean, it it is what it is. I wish it was a... Uh, little clearer follow-up hopefully you guys understand where I'm going with that and that's it for now I mean I do have another video I'm coming up a case study on a 5075e tractor which I unfortunately was not able to videotape um, but we're gonna try a little different format for that one so stay tuned in the next day or two for that and I'm gonna go in and clean up all my wiring here and make sure I've got a uh, liquid electrical tape anywhere I pierced and put this back together and finish the rest of the work on the guy.